Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and I'm really excited for today because this is my first Hits and Misses video of 2021. Now, if you guys didn't catch on, I actually skipped December's Hits and Misses on purpose because I felt like I already brought you guys like my 2020 favorites. I was talking a lot about products that I already really enjoyed and I just felt like it was just gonna be hidden in the pile of videos that I was already putting out. Now I have here an accumulation of two months worth of hits and misses. Um, I do have a lot of overlap from a lot of the past months because I am going on more of like a, I don't want to say no buy because I'm technically not on one, but I'm more on the road to just using up what I have because I am running out of space underneath my sink. I am running out of space inside my medicine cabinet. I'm running out of space inside my drawers and I just want to use up more things. Now during this winter season I thought you know what I am not sweating that much and as a matter of fact I want to extend my hair washing days. Is that even grammatically correct? I just wanted to not wash my hair as often as I did. Typically, I would wait two days before I wash my hair, but I made it a goal to actually wait four days to wash my hair. And I felt like the reason why I didn't do four days to begin with is because my hair just got super smelly and it just got so itchy and I just really did not like the way that it felt. Now, I was still doing the whole blow drying, the whole scalp scrub, everything from my dandruff video that I did, but I just felt like my hair wouldn't last a long time. So what my sister actually recommended me was to do dry shampoo on the day that I wash my hair right after I blow dry it. And the one dry shampoo that I have been rediscovering was this one from Briogeo. This is called their Scalp Revival and it is the Charcoal and Biotin Dry Shampoo. Now this one is definitely in like a weird packaging. You literally just squeeze it and then it comes out like that. Um, there's no press, there's no pump or anything. Anything, you literally just squeeze the bottle and I find that this is literally the only way my hair is able to last four days maybe even five and that five is definitely stretching it because four was definitely my goal but I want to work my way up slowly and so far so good really do love Briogeo it is a black owned brand and they are now sold at Ulta which is really amazing I surprisingly got sent this package from Briogeo of like a whole different hair care line and I was just like, wow, how full circle is this? So I'm really excited to actually try those new Briogeo items. They did send me the curl line, which I know you guys might be thinking, Jasmine, it looks like you have straight hair. This is what my hair looks like after I blow dry it. So it's a lot more straight than if I just leave it natural. My mom actually has really curly hair and my dad has pin straight hair. So some days, you know, it gets more wavy than others, but this is what it looks like just blow dried. So if you're just struggling with keeping your hair smelling fresh for longer, just do dry shampoo on the first day as opposed to waiting and then having your dry shampoo soak up all the oils. It's more of a preventative measure this way. So in this journey to self-help, to making myself feel better, I have been really diving into crystals, manifestations, meditation, and I recently discovered this brand right here called Positive Intent. And I just really wanna talk about this because I feel like this just came into my life at the perfect time. This portion of this video is in partnership with Positive Intent, but literally my experience has been so amazing. So this product here is called their soul body lotion and this has passion fruit blooming jasmine sugared citrus exotic florals and amethyst quartz crystals in here like how freaking amazing is that it smells so sweet but also floral and it's not anything super crazy like it's literally like that beautiful fresh out the shower like i'm just blossoming like it just feels and smells really good on the skin. Now, on all of their products, they have different mantras. So when you apply the products, you say these mantras and essentially you speak it into existence. So the mantra that's on here, it says, today I will ignite change to create the future I want tomorrow. So what I personally do with this lotion is I will squirt a full pump. I have used quite a bit here and I will literally just massage it into my hands. I will smell it. 
And while I apply it, I will literally say the mantra. And even if you don't remember it, that's fine. You could literally just look at the bottle. And it's just a way for me to remind myself that I am going to create the change that I want for myself, whether that be financial, emotional, mental, it's all really up to you. And that's really what manifestations is all about. And I know I said there's some amethyst crystals in here. That's so exciting. So I have my crystal book and I want to read you what amethyst is all about. So this is one of my favorite crystal books. This is Crystals for Beginners by Karen Frazier. And this book has honestly been so amazing because a lot of the times I go to the store and sometimes I'll see crystals and I'll be like, okay, what is that? What does that mean? And this book literally has it down for you with pictures. I love pictures. Um, so here Amethyst just says it helps with intuition and insight, insomnia, safe travel, connecting to the higher self and the divine, creativity, manifestation, stress and anxiety, nightmares and addictions, and a lot more. And it also works really well with other different crystals as well. Um, so for me, I actually have an Amethyst and Rose Quartz bracelet. I was going to call it a necklace, but it's a bracelet. And then right underneath it, that white one, that one's Howl Light, which is great for um, anger. For me, it helps with anger, but also stress and anxiety and anything of those um, just very negative feelings I feel like and I also sleep with amethyst under my pillow to also ease with those nightmares because I actually dream every single night and it is really important for me to keep that at a minimum for the most part like your amethyst is like your best crystal <laughs> like it's just gonna be your best friend alongside uh, clear quartz which is just another amplifying crystal as well so I just want to say that this honestly has been the best implementation into my life because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm speaking my manifestations into existence and it smells good. It feels good. It just, everything about it is amazing. And even if you aren't into crystals, manifestations or anything like that, at the end of the day, you're getting a good body product. Uh, it's just really good to have. It smells really good. And you are supporting smaller businesses as well, which I really do appreciate. I have two mascaras here. Now these mascaras I've been using interchangeably throughout this entire month. The first one being from Doll Face Beauty and this one is their Fast Faux Extreme Volume Mascara. I feel like this is my favorite mascara currently because it's not just offering you volume but length and curl as well. Now if you guys watched my last video, that's the mascara that I was wearing in that video. I wasn't wearing lashes and this just keeps my lashes looking so good throughout the entire day. Sorry to abruptly cut this video. My allergies have been through the roof. My asthma, as well as my sneezes, have been just so crazy lately. And it's really surprised me because typically during winter it doesn't really happen like that. So bear with me. But I was talking about mascaras and I was saying how the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara is really amazing. It actually offers different benefits than the Fast Faux. So if I'm looking for something that's more buildable, then I'll definitely go for this one. I find that Fast Faux really only works well with one coat. I feel like once I build it up, it starts to get a little uh, crispy and that's not what I like. So if I'm looking for days where I want my lashes naturally to look like eyelash extensions, then this is definitely the one that I'm going to go for. My lips are at peak dryness during this time in winter. It is getting so cold. I mean, I live in California, so it doesn't really get that cold. But when there is ice on my car, it's pretty cold. And during that time, my lips get super crusty. So I have been loving these two products to uncrust my lips, if you will. The first being is a Shop Miss A Jelly Jam. I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but I seriously am almost done with two of these. I have one for my bag and one for my room. And they're both, they're both at the same level. Like they're almost done. I have the scent cherry and cherry isn't like your medicinal scent. It's definitely more of like that fruity, but 
not too abrasive scent kind of like the body lotion it's like not too crazy but you do still smell it i love the way that this feels because it has this stickiness and thickness to it where it just adheres on the lips all day long and you barely have to reapply it now on days when i'm actually filming videos and i want something that's hydrating but also has a little bit of color i will actually go in with the fenty beauty lip balm this is their pro kisser lip balm in the shade pinch me kate actually gave this to me for Christmas and you know what dare I say like this is one of the best kind of like lip glossy formulas that I really like that's actually colored it's so hydrating but gives you that kiss of color it's really really pretty and for a lot of the videos that I filmed in January you guys saw me wear it it's it's literally not a secret like all the ones where it has like that glossy shine it's this product it stays on the lips for a really long time but I don't think that it lasts as long as a lip mask would but still pretty good. This product is on my project pan list for 2021, but you know what? Surprisingly, every single time I use it, I like it more and more and more, which is really weird to me. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. My friend Brie actually gave me this because it wasn't her shade. I actually have the shade number four, which is a little warm on me, but I can make it work. I really like this for brow gel and go days. I never thought I would be a brow gel and go girl. I really didn't because honestly I just felt like a lot of the brow gels that I did have were really thick and the actual brush itself was way too stiff but this one I can see why a lot of brands want to copy it. It's super tiny. The brush itself actually is really, really soft. So you're really able to go against your skin and it'll deposit the right amount of color and it will literally stay like that all day long. It's really, really good. And I actually have another one in my collection already because I really, really do like it. It's getting to the point where I'm having backups. So um, it's good to know that something on my 2021 project pan list isn't being used to just be used. It's used, but also enjoyed. I have two misses for this month and I feel like I already told you guys why I didn't like them, but I'm going to reiterate myself because I really don't like these. Um, so first we're gonna talk about this eyeliner from Doll Face Beauty. I did a whole review, like a full face review on Doll Face Beauty earlier this month. And this one is their Double Date Liquid Eye Definer and Smoky Kajal. Um, I got a lot of comments saying that I pronounced that wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it because I asked Siri herself and Miss Siri said Kajal. And I, I know I say it a little fast and I say Kajal, but I don't know. I don't know. I Listen, English was not my favorite subject at all. I felt very dumb in English and I, di I didn't like that feeling at all. I was in a classroom of all white people and I was like one of the very few Asians and all the other Asians were really smart and I was like, oh my god. I hate it here. I really hate it here. And I just remember, oh my god, I'm being triggered. I just remember on all of my essays, my teachers would tell me I was not good enough and that I could have just improved. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. And then I took the AP test and I didn't even pass those. And it was just like, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. English was not my first language. And I know I can't speak Khmer that well either, but I'm trying, I'm trying out here. Um, okay, back to the review. The pencil liner itself isn't that amazing. I feel like it's not that black. It, I don't know, it doesn't really stay on the waterline either. And then the actual felt tip here is so large and in charge and you get no control and the tip does not even hold a lot of product and that's what you're mainly using, especially for something that is so thick. Um, so for that reason, it just doesn't really work for me on either sides. Like there's, there's two in one here and both of them just don't work for me. Um, and then here I have another item from Doll Face Beauty and this palette was very lackluster to me because I was really excited. It was named after crystals. It had a lot of gemstone names. So we had opal, pink sapphire, green tourmaline, citrine, emerald, amethyst, blue diamond, star ruby, and sapphire. Like, are you kidding me? Like this palette was made for me, but all of these shades were not that pigmented. The only shade that was in here that was pigmented was this highlighter shade, but it's white. And it just doesn't really work that well on my skin. I can make it work. 
I did in the video, but it's not something that I'm going to be wearing like every single day. Like this is something that I would wear like when I'm doing like a crazy, crazy look and I need a white highlighter. But as far as like the rest of the shades, even this gold here, it's not super pigmented and you really, really, really have to build it up. And even once you build it up, you're just like, oh my God, it's so patchy. So for that reason, I am going to say that it's a miss because it got my expectations real high with the crystal names, but unfortunately it didn't really work out for me in the end. And just like that, you guys, we are completed with my January hits and misses. There were so many products that I tried out this month that I feel like I didn't really want to rank them for like my best of the month to like my worst of the month. A lot of the items that I did try were fairly middle ground and a lot of the items that I was using were items for my 2021 project pan. So those are items that you're going to see like throughout this year. So I didn't really want to include a whole bunch aside from the benefit products. And if you guys want to support my small business, don't forget to check out shopbeautybyjasmineyan.com to get your hands on some handmade press-on nails. I also launched some accessories. I learned how to make earrings by myself, which I'm really proud about. So some of those are already listed on my website starting at $2.50. Are you kidding me? That's super inexpensive. I also have some Valentine's Day goodie bags and accessories and things of that nature. So I hope you guys all get a chance to check it out so you can gift it to yourself, your Galentine your mama, your partners. You know what? We got it all for everybody. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Thank you so much to Positive Intent for sponsoring a portion of this video. I do appreciate it and I do love my body lotion. Um, and I guess that's all I have for the rest of this video. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing January so far and I hope that February starts off amazing for you. As always, I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.